Fuck yeah. Oh my god, I'm so happy to be back. Oh, dude, that's Ooh, yeah. exciting. Good to be back. I keep forgetting that you're in Arsa, eh? Dude, I was in Arsa for two weeks. Two? Two, two weeks. weeks. Vinny, um, what number is this one? Vinny's sore today. 47. <laughs> Vinny's sore today. I'm pretty sure it's 47. I think so. <clears throat> Episode 47, I have returned. Vinny did really, really well without me. Just wanted to say congratulations, Vinny, on your first podcast by yourself. Thanks, it was very uh, nervous. I was nervous about it, eh? Yeah, but you did a really good job. It was fun to edit. Um, There's like no cuts either, you said, eh? I didn't cut. I didn't make the first cut till about 35 in. <laughs> but anyway, um, today we're joined by my good mates, Cole and Harry. Um, it's been about a year and two weeks yeah, since we did the geez, last one. Time flies. So crazy. It was episode four, wow. I think it was. Yes, episode four. Yeah, correct. Now it's episode 47. Oh, 47. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't even know Vinny back then. No. Nah. <laughs> Wow, really? Actually, it was our podcast was the reason why Vinny started watching. Really? Yeah, I remember hearing that on previous I'm pretty episode. sure, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. A lot of that. people started watching after our episode. Yeah, yeah. it was a lit yeah. episode. I yeah. cried. It was a very mm. intense episode for yeah, sure. It was, it was. Yeah. It was. Great episode, yeah. yeah. Um, I actually listened to it yesterday. Did you? At work, yeah. Chucked it on the speakers at work. Ooh. I should listen to it recently as well, maybe like two or three weeks ago. A bit. Um, so yeah, been like a year. Podcast has grown like crazy since then. It really yeah, has. Definitely. Dude, we had like 100 followers. It's mm. crazy. I don't know. Um, anyway, how's everyone been? What's what's the what's the GO? Harrison? Um, right now, it's like it was last episode we were yeah. on. It's just grind time, man. Mm. Freaking studying a lot, um, getting good results, which is good. Um, just amongst all that, obviously, work life, but still learning how to produce music, which is great. It's going good. A lot of Hell learning yeah. curves. Mm. You got a name yet? You just going with your name? Just going with Harrison, but probably put the A as a four, I reckon. Yeah. Have Harrison. Yeah. <laughs> have yeah. fun. Have fun, Harrison. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. What about you, Cole? Same old work. Still large? <coughs> Larger. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the last episode you guys were passing your microphone? <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> I just, I just, I just wanted to bring upgrade. that up. This is yeah. a bit of an upgrade. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, yep, carry on, Cole. Yeah, just work. Um, got some new things in the pipelines, some new businesses going. PT's mm-hmm. going good. Training's going good. Yeah, work's busy. Um, hopefully looking at cutting down soon, like we chatted about yesterday. Mm-hmm. Need to focus a little bit more on that work-life balance. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, just grind here, really. Mm-hmm. Getting mm-hmm. my money up, getting my businesses up. Fuck yeah. yeah. 100%. What business do you have? So outside of PT, I'm doing an e-commerce business um, with my best mate. Yeah. And then I've started a new business, which is a little bit on the down low with two of my mates. That's in the uh, supplement company business. Mm. Um, that'll be re- released in a couple months. So that'll be really cool. That's just on the down low right now. Exciting. Yeah. Mm. 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 Now, what about you guys? What's been going on this past week? Oh man, I got nothing, bro. I've been in the house for two weeks. So, like, dude, I've literally been going insane. Like, I s- yeah, swear to you, I like, felt. like yep. genuinely, because May I got COVID on the Monday two weeks ago. Yeah. Right. So we had to isolate. I had to isolate with her. I didn't get COVID until uh, Friday or Saturday. Oh, real? Yeah. Right. So I spent that whole week stuck in the house, and then the next week I got COVID, and I got. I tell you what, I got fucking. Molested by COVID, bro. Oh, like I was wasn't fucked, fun, bro. Were you were they, like anticipating it, like hoping to get? Yeah, it? Yeah, no, I knew just I was gonna get it because yeah, yeah. like were you just chilling with her. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like I wasn't it. like, may I go stay in the other room? Like <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah, yeah. we just sort of what I did with Alex. Yeah, so I just like you know we just kept like just chilling like how we normally are, and yeah. then I got it, and then that was it. At least we got we're going away to Adelaide in May. Oh, cool. So I was like, at least we got it before then. Yeah, yeah. So, up the immunity a bit yeah yeah so like little 12 week immunity mm. yeah yeah so Apparently. that's handy mm. handy for sure but yeah literally be going nuts it's crazy you say that because um janita and that had it mm. and the whole housemates right and they went to dunsborough to the family holiday mm. and zach's parents were there as well and they were all isolating together and zach was trying to get off janita like they were still kissing sleeping in the same bed all that kind of stuff mm. never got it but zach's mom that like social distance from janita got it Dude, it's so oh, crazy, dude. hey? Yeah, it's like, doesn't make any sense, hey? Yeah, it's weird. He was like, you know, still doing everything they do together, never got it. Yeah. Like the mum that wasn't even near her. Yeah, it's crazy. Got, yeah. It's like my best friend, she got COVID and she was with her boyfriend all week and then 
during isolo- isolation, they were together all week and he still wasn't positive. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, well, my partner looks after COVID patients most of the time, like with like severe ones, and she comes home and she still hasn't got it, you know, touch wood. But yeah, she's, it's crazy how it works. Like, it is really weird, eh? So weird. Mm. So weird. I think the sooner you get it, the better, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, get it dude, over and done with. I, I literally, because I, I did a rat test on the Friday because I started getting. Like I started feeling like I had a fever, like mm. I was just like really cold, like shivering, bro. Like, mm. but like sweaty. And I was like, "Fuck!" Like I must have it, right? And I tested negative on the rat test. I was like, "Man, if I don't have COVID, like something's wrong. Mm. Like I feel like something's really fucking bad. Like, I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. die." I remember when you messaged me saying your rat test was negative. I was like, "Yeah, that PCR is gonna be positive, though." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and then so I, I was just rat test. I told you as well. Mm. Go yeah, get yeah. PCR. So yeah. as soon as I as soon as I woke up the next morning, I did. I got a negative on the rat test again. Then I went and got a PCR, came out positive. Mm. So, fuck me, man. It was a heavy, heavy week for sure. Well, you missed out on a lot, I tell you that. Yeah, fuck. Are Did you get, going? Did you get really sick? Huh? Did you get really sick? Oh, dude, yeah. 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 It was pretty bad. Yeah, hey. I was I was sick till about three days ago. <laughs> oh, really? And then I was literally, I literally woke up in the morning and I felt fine. Oh, real? Mine the only was thing a now, slow increase. The only thing now is that I've got a cough. Mm. But it's oh, not yeah. like a, I'm a sick cough. It's like recovery cough. You yeah, know what I mean? Still got it. Yeah, it's <laughs> a like month later. it's fucked, dude. When I went to pick up the tripod to film the game on Wednesday, bruv like was in the freaking house. All I could see was this silhouette. Couldn't even see his face. Just a black silhouette. <laughs> like, this guy, this guy walked up to the door and he goes, <laughs> "Hey man," <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Dude, you're fucking three meters away from me." Yeah, like, relax. That shit. Can't miss a week of football, bro. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Man. Mm. Um, anyway, yeah, so I, I got so much to talk about. Start like my literally. So much. Um, so I went for that job interview. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no way. Am I going to get to hear the results <laughs> yeah. live? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's so go. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah, the job yeah, interview. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, go. Yeah, okay. Go. So first of all, I'm not going to say the company, right? Because you all know the company that I went for. I'm right. not going to say it. You tell us after anyway. Well, you know. You should know. Yeah. I went sure. to... I'll oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Just bleep it out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So anyway, went for this job interview um, two weeks Two, two, three weeks ago. This is the week before I got COVID. Oh, um, I got COVID. So anyway, I went to the, um, I put my resume in maybe like fucking a month or so ago, right? Because my sister's boyfriend works there, yeah. right? I was like, fuck yeah, I'm going to get a job easy. No stress. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so they, they passed it on because I can't work with him because it's a conflict of interest. So mm. um, they passed my resume on to a different shopping center, a local one that we go to a lot. Anyway, mm. so I went there about eight o'clock in the morning. Mm. Right, and it was so strange for starters. Like, <laughs> like I said last last time I was on, it's like people got what, like cleaning the roofs and yeah, shit. It's like yeah. so random. <laughs> so what the fuck? Anyway, so I'm waiting. Um, do you guys remember from school? Maybe. Oh, you don't. I, I you wouldn't. Don't. But I'm oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, the yeah, yeah, yeah. He works. There. Yeah, yeah. He works there. He yeah. interviewed me. Oh, did he? <laughs> oh, that's lit. Anyway, so um, I went into this interview, and it, I walked in with another guy. Okay. Another civilian, yeah. right? And I'm like, what the fuck is what is this a group interview? <laughs> the fucking group interview, cunt. And I was like, I walked in and I was like, fuck. It. For starters, this kid, like, I'm not, I'm not stereotyping, but he's like a young, dark fella, charisma, like yeah. all of it. He can dress well, and I'm just a white kid, yeah. right? And I'm just <laughs> like, I'm just like, fuck, I'm lost already. <laughs> Surely you dress nicely, though, like, yeah, I like, I wore, yeah, I wore yeah. like this, like, yeah, yeah. I got told like just wear streetwear, yeah, right, because cool, cool. cool. yeah. you know it's. For, Whatever. Yeah. Anyway, so this kid walks in. I'm like, "Fuck! I've already lost. Like, there's no <laughs> way." So we're doing this. We're doing this interview, and they're asking very general questions, right? And basically, there's only two of us. So if they if they ask me the question first, and I gave a sick answer, he's stumped because basically we only have the same answer. Right? Yeah. So it's like, so it's like, how would you, how would you? What's the three things that you think that all team members should have to work as 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 a group, right? You know, like just the standard positivity, communication, blah 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 blah, yeah. right? So I would say that, and then he's like, "Shit, I can't say the same thing." <laughs> yeah. So, so, so he just basically for a retail job for yeah. starters, right? So he's like saying all these answers, like bullshitting, basically, basically the same thing anyway. And then it comes to about twenty minutes into the interview, and she goes, "Okay, I want you guys to go pick any shoe off the shelf, <laughs> any shoe, right?" And I'm like, "Fuck yeah, like this looks this cool, fuck, Like we're gonna get free shoes, go." Like, <laughs> 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 anyway, <laughs> anyway, so I was like, if we maybe if we sell it, like hell good, we might get it, like a free mm. pair kind of thing. Oh, yeah. So I was like, fucking rubbing my hands. I was like, oh, which one do I want? Out of all the shoes I could have picked, I picked Nike Up Tempos. Mm. Bruv. 
Right. I don't know nothing about our tempos. <laughs> All I know is that I like the look of them. Ah. Right. And that and that Scotty Pippen was like the yeah, guy who made yeah. them what they are, kind of thing. So I picked this shoe and he picked an ultra bruise, triple black. Smart guy. Because it's like a real basic shoe. Easy to sell. Easy yeah, to sell. Like, so I'm for he she goes, Okay, Lucky, I want you to go first. Sell me this shoe. And I'm like, fuck. Like, I don't know nothing, bro. Oh, I stood up and I was like, This is a Nike up tempo. Um Made famous in the nineties by Scotty Pippen. Um, I was just bullshitting. I was like, it might be a bit tight around the like the bowl around like a, around the arch of the foot, so you need to size up a bit. I didn't know that. Like I was just bullshitting. Yeah, I was just, yeah. Bullshit. Yeah, I was just like I was just like like you might need a bigger size, you might need to size down. It's good to hoop in casual, blah blah blah. Like I was just bullshitting. It sounds like you did bullshitting. This guy comes up, right? She's like, All right, it's your turn. I can't remember his name. He goes, This is an NS Ultra Boost, three point triple black. Slick design, good for running, casual, hooping, whatever you want. It's like the closest thing to the easy you can get. Like, just <laughs> full on selling this shoe. Like, he, I almost bought the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, he's like full selling this shoe. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, oh, fuck, no way. I literally, at that point, I was like, this ain't for me, man. Like, <laughs> this ain't for me. Throws in the towel. Basically, haven't heard back from them. So, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this fella's, like, working there now. So. He's probably already a bloody manager. <laughs> yeah, probably. Bro, he sold it so good. Was, he, was he tall, Blake? He was tall, like, big. Like, yeah. he, bro, he was 17. Bro, they, hire, they hire tall people, man. They seriously mm -hmm. do. And I was just like, I was just like, oh, well, you know, it is what it is. Oh, that's but, yeah, so, funny, so fucking funny. He was just selling this shoe to me. I already got a pair of old shoes. I almost bought another pair. Like, <laughs> what, what colorway was it? Just triple black. Triple black. Yeah. yeah. He was just he just sold it so good, and I was like, "Fuck, well, well." But yeah, that was my <laughs> job interview story. <laughs> I nearly bought it. Oh, <laughs> oh man. So yeah. Um, have you guys only ever had any like shit job interviews before? Um, yeah, I actually did. Like, it wasn't. It was like kind of like a group one because I was when I was doing <laughs> Adventure World before I am at the job I am now. And um, you pretty much register what area of the park you want to apply for, right? So it's like rides and slides or food or whatever the fuck. No one wants to do fucking food. Mm. Everyone wants to do rides and slides. So you just stand there and go, yep, go, mm -hmm. go, you know. And basically the group interview was like fucking 38 people, bruv. Like in a room. We're like in a circle. You know how they do like when you're a kid, you have like the big colourful thing. And you're right. <laughs> that's what it felt like. What was in a circle we're doing the work in? Mm. And um, yeah, I got paired with... Um, a uh, nice African Australian fellow, and we were just vibing out, chilling, and you had to pair up, and they were pretty much like, kind of what you did, sell like the shoe, but it was more just like, um, kind of sell uh, Adventure World, like wait, make it fun, like you know, yeah, yeah, bring yeah. customers in type of thing, and we're just like bullshitting, thinking it's all good, like we're just vibing off each other and stuff. Little did we know, everyone else was just so much better than <laughs> than us. Like we, ours was trash, like yeah. it was genuinely trash. But we were just vibing out, trying to trying to sell it. We didn't know what the fuck to do, like yeah. But um, yeah, it was pretty demoralizing, just being like yeah. Because then afterwards, it was like an hour thing. After that, they would call out certain people and bring them in for like a, like a solo interview. Yeah, and they brought in like all these tall blokes and you know blonde girls and stuff like that. And then me and this mm. guy look at each other like, nah, this isn't <laughs> happening. <laughs> Wait, just two seconds. Hold on. Did you get the job? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Good follow-up <laughs> question, Vinny. Good follow-up <laughs> question. <laughs> no. What about you, Kyle? Any shit job interviews? Yeah. Oh, well, <clears throat> my first time interviewing for a PT job at the job I worked for, um, I had to PT in the interview. I thought I just came in and had, a, had to have a chat. I had to... I had to PT the owner of the gym's wife for 45 minutes. That's shit. pretty cool, though. And it is cool, but she, like... She hot? <laughs> yeah, she was actually. Yeah. So it made it even harder. Like, <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 hold up, hold up. <laughs> yeah. He's like, in, he's like, yeah, yeah. Just, just squat. Did, did a lot of squats yeah. and just, audio. Yeah. <laughs> Do a hundred squats for me right there. Yeah. <laughs> I got the job, so. Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah. Was, fuck yeah. yeah well, it was very random. While while the husband was watching me, and it was very uncomfortable. Yeah. But I'd never PT'd anyone ever before, and mm. I was like, squat. <laughs> It's yeah, like in an uncomfortable dude. situation. Eh? Probably like his fetish, hey? Like, yeah. <laughs> I was. He's a carp cuckold. PT cuckold. He's in the corner, like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, tell yeah. it a squat yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. Five more squats, please. <laughs> more weight. More weight. <laughs> Get lower. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Vinny? Have you um, any shit any job experience? No, I was pretty lucky, eh? Like, I got all my jobs straight up. Nice. Like yeah. the my first, because I'm a Sparky, and um, basically I worked for my uncle on show rides. So it's family. I didn't have to do an yeah. interview. And mm -hmm. then um, when I got my apprenticeship, I knew 
his best mate. So he just like gave me a good word, and the guy like he was like, yeah, come do two weeks work experience, and then that was what that was it. And the job I'm at now, the guy was actually like, oh, I need workers, so I'm not even gonna bother interviewing you. <laughs> so I was like, sick, <laughs> fucking That's great. Mm. So I'm pretty lucky. That job interview I went to was the first job interview I've ever been to. Real? Yep. Yeah. I thought of that. Because Chicken Treat. Fuck Chicken Treat. Right. Fuck Chicken Treat. <laughs> Jeez, I was about to bring it up, <laughs> eh? Don't even bring it up. Hey, Harry's like, don't talk <laughs> about the cool slaw. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, y'all can hate on me for the rest of my life. I know what happened <laughs> you, that day. You still eat coleslaw? Fuck. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it triggers me a bit. Bro, I remember when I walked in and gave her my resume, she's like, can you work today? <laughs> Wait, is this at the Gosnells one or the yeah, Forest Lake? Yeah, bro, at Forest Lake. Bro, I never worked at the, the Gosnells one. I only worked at the Forest Lake. Sorry, one. thank God I moved to Gosnells, bro. Oh. The Forest yeah, Lake you were telling sad. me, when we were going through it together, I was like, bro, I fucking hate this job. Like, it actually makes me depressed. Like, I just want to relax and stuff. And you were like, bro, just come to the Gosnells one. It's too shit, but it's better than Forest <laughs> Lakes. <laughs> bro, do you know the last day I went there, I got a bin thrown at me and I didn't go back. <laughs> I right. literally but didn't even resign. By I literally by just customer. Or? No, by you know oh, who, geez. bro. She she used to oh, roast. I, I was deboning. That. I was deboning the chicken, right? Oh, as in. as normal, like just how I would normally do, like brown meat, white meat, yep. separated. She's like, you're doing it wrong, and threw the bin at me, bro. Dude, I got um. I she like, used to bitch. roast me in front of customers because I was pouring water in the bin, bro. <laughs> like, I was what? Just, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you know, you know that's what sinks are for, bro. Just wait, just wait. Let me explain. Let me explain. You know how you got like the long ass silver that the Bay Marines. Yeah, where, no, where you um pitchy pitchy the chicken. You know, like when you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the silver bench. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. And it's got like a little opening so you can slide shit off of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So I put the bin there, and because there was so much water, I was like, "Fuck this! I'm not like what? It's like like thin layer of." I'm not yeah, gonna yeah, try and yeah. scoop and put it in the sink. I was like, boom, and then she just goes, <laughs> "Oi, oi, Troy!" From some bloke that that just comes there regularly. He's pouring water in the bin. I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> why are you getting a customer involved? Like, <laughs> shut up. If I want to pour water in the bin, I'm gonna do it, bro. Oh. oh my god. But you, you know, KFC was worse than Chicken Treat. Did you? Yes, yeah, oh, you did yeah, work at KFC. But that was only for a little bit. I right? worked at KFC for three months, and then I got the full time job at the office. How yeah. was KFC? How was it was, worse? KFC was worse, bro. How what in terms of management? Picture, bro, management was fine. But just like the conditions, it's worse oh, than chicken yeah. treat. But bro. like getting yeah. yelled at, you mean? Or do you mean no, 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 no? Like Work at that point, like if KFC, like if the chick yelled at me, like okay, oh yeah, yeah. like yeah. come yeah. on, yeah. I got a bin thrown at me, bitch. Yeah, like I've had worse. <laughs> um, no, nah, but like um, just like bro, I've eaten chicken cheat um KFC chicken since real yeah. nah shit, bro. Like don't eat the bones bones shit. I'm kind of turned off by KFC a oh, bit. Like it's it's, it's it nice. It's good. It's just, you feel dirty. But like getting the hot and spicy, like it's nice. I always order hot and spicy, but I take the skin off it most of the time and I just eat the flesh because I like the spicy flesh, but like the you're skin. You're right, bro. No, because yeah, the skin. That's, fucking the, that's the best gun. part. You know, the skin's okay. probably the safest part of that channel. <laughs> <laughs> but, but let me explain. It's just, I don't know. Like you said, I just feel yucky eating the skin. I mean, I do eat it, but not like, if it's like a whole piece of that, I'm not going to eat the whole yeah. fucking thing. Bro. I only eat the boneless shit, bro. I yeah. only get popcorn chicken, eh? Popcorn mm. chicken is a lame, Everything bro. else makes me shit water, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the eh. visual image. <laughs> I, can't, I just can't do it anymore, eh? Bro, I don't know what it is. Being at um, Chicken Tree, like getting like, not, I would say yelled at. We got abused decent amount. Not like No, we no, honestly, we, we got verbally and mentally yeah. abused 100%. But being 100%. there nowadays in life, like I was like 15, 14 then. But getting yelled at now, I'm like, okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, it doesn't bother me of, at all. Yeah, it, it, like I actually appreciate Low key what happened. Same. Because yeah. now I have such thick skin. Same. Yeah, if bro. someone yelled at me, I'm like, Cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm. Like, I was like that's that nice. Else. Yeah. But yeah, I remember resigning, with only giving one week notice, even though I could have resigned that day. Bruh, and I they asked it. for a month notice, and I was like, yeah, I'll do a month. I'll do a month, you and then I f uh, no, I, I think I did a week <coughs> before they got all got fired. But you were a manager, <coughs> um, that's why you had to give a month, eh? Yeah, well, I didn't have to give anything. I was casual worker, oh. but I remember I just was, I walked in. I was like, yeah, go on, try me. You know yeah, what I mean? I'll walk facts. out, try me. Bro, and I, just, I remember she just would she'd walk in, look at me. And look away because she knew. Yeah, bro. If she tried me, I'd be like, "All right, see ya." Yeah, I good. didn't even resign from KFC. You just left. Yeah, like, I didn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> I literally said, Disgust like, him. I literally said because I was like peak time when I was like hell depressed. Like, I was just, yeah. I just got put on my meds and shit. Mm. So I had to tell the manager because I was working the seven thirty to four thirty shift, which is like wake up, like you clean the chicken, the deep fries in the morning. Yeah. Seven thirty a.m. Seven thirty a.m. Because we don't open till 10 or something. 8.30 a.m. at Chicken Treat was, mm. was tough. So we went in 7.30 and clean all... I literally... I woke up um, one morning. I was feeling like so shit. Like, because I was just put on the meds kind of thing. Yeah. So I said to my manager, I was like straight... I just pulled her aside and I like... 
I kind of broke down a little bit. Mm. And I was like, look, I've, I'm, I'm really going through some shit. Like, she was good like that. Like, she understood straight away. Yeah. I, I, like, I was crying and shit. And I was just like, like, I'm on this new meds. Like, if, if I, like, if I'm, you know, not bubbly in the morning, that's why. And she was just like, like, just take your time. Like, like, don't stress. Like, she was really good like that. In the end, I just didn't even come back. <laughs> I was like, I was like, look, I've got this offered a full time job. I start on Monday. Like, I'm a casual worker, so this is my notice. Mm. And she was like, yeah, cool. And I didn't come back. I didn't even give a resi- resignation. Yeah. It's crazy how bad the environment of fast food I was just about to say. is. Like, now that I'm a PT, I work at, like, Suffolk Mart, stuff like that. It's great there. Like, I love going to work. Like, Same. Obviously, some people still don't like going to work in a nine to five and stuff. But it is crazy how gross and poorly treated like fast food yeah, workers, so even bad. retail workers but fast food so is bad, such a bad bro. industry i empathize with them seriously i get there and i'm at Mac- Mac- maccas or whatever and I'm, i would never yell at them if my, my order's wrong oh, yeah. like, i've been in your position I've, bro yeah been in your position it sucks it, you make mistakes you've never worked in fast food Vinny? no i'm from boddington bro i don't have fast food True. <laughs> lucky man yeah. he just sells dirt on nah. the side of the road <laughs> 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 nah i um i did <coughs> carnival so like oh, um roll show and shit oh, that'd be yeah. fun though is that fun? Uh, no, nah, it's all right. It's like 12 hour days. And cool. then um, I used to work, before I turned 18, I used to work New Year's at Rockingham, mm. the New Year's show there. Yep. And um, it's like, oh, it's like nearly, it's probably like a f- 16 hour shift. Mm. So like you will start at six and then like, I'd either like be on tickets, like sell people tickets or like sell game shows. And then after you have to pack up everything, oh, fuck you have that. to be oh. out by the morning. Yeah, I'm talking about rough. big mega rides like, Gravitron and shit like Fuck that. Yeah so It's like harsh But like it was all cash Was, was it harsh. decent pay? Yeah I got like 600 Per yeah, shift That's, that's right. pretty good As a 16 year old Yeah that's, Oh that's really yeah. good yeah, yeah. yeah but my, I was my uncle bro Like he was like He was chill like that He was like I was, I was give you cash yeah, yeah For a day's work That's actually works out About right with like Tax and everything Yeah but that's yeah He was yeah, like For a 23 year old Let alone a 16 And cashies as well yeah. No tax Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm saying He's always saying Just don't tell the workers What you're getting Because your family likes So you just give cash Yeah yeah but yeah, like I used to work the Royal Show for like a week on my holiday and that was like 1600 uh, mm. That's so good. Yeah, so yeah, like cool. I bought like my PS4 and shit with that money. <laughs> Fucking hell, <laughs> bro. That's so good. Mm. Actually, speaking of PS4, I actually, um during isolation, I downloaded Rocket League and Fortnite. On your PS5 or your PS4? My, my Xbox, sorry. Oh, yeah. I read, that. I'm just talking about video games in general, but yeah, um, I downloaded it. Yeah. Dude, Fortnite's so fun with no it's building. so much fun. Oh, dude, I've been playing it heaps, eh? Why don't you tell me, bro? I would play with you. Just shit, we need to play squad. I am so yeah. shit, but like once, <laughs> I once download I download it if it's does that building because so I hated the building. Once, so much better. Once I play a few games, like I get Apex the hang now. of it. Because like, like Apex now. Oh fuck no. Because mm. like Apex with COD, like because I'm so good at it, like I'm always focused and it's like yeah. draining. Like Fortnite can go in there. You can just chill. 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 Yeah, 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 just go. You gotta focus the last. Dude, I'm fucking deadly with that sniper, bro. Oh me too, bro. Bro, I. I would literally just carry a sub and a fucking sniper and I'll, I'll do the jump thing. Like, bing, bing. <laughs> sniper is essential in any battle royale. Like, you just have to have oh, one. Dude, it's so good, man. I I it's actually fun. Jack. Play duos with Jack and he holds the sniper and I rush. Mm. We're just, we're I'm just so shit, though. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Oh, like, I'm so I bad because I got no one to play with. Like, yeah. I don't have a. We'll carry you. We'll teach yeah. you. Dude, I'm just waiting for you. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered oh to come out. I don't care. Like, I just want to be trick shotting off the fucking plane again in Terminal, bro. That's all I want. Calm down. That's all I want. Free for all. Oh, 29 yeah. nobbies, mm. That's all I want. Oh. I never played the remastered Modern Warfare One. That was elite. Ever. It was a. It was so elite. No, good. it was good. So good. it was good. So it was it just like the game, but in such better graphics and quality. It was yeah. so much same it mechanics. So it just wasn't as popular. Mm. I don't think. Yeah, well, that's later this year, that's Modern Warfare Two coming out, like the the um, sequel to like yeah, Warzone Modern and Warfare. stuff. Yeah, and um. There's like rumors going on like the new Warzone map's gonna have like all like terminal and shit and yeah. like rust and stuff. Fucking nice. hot. Yeah, so I'm so keen for that. Mm. What about the Star Wars Lego? You seen the clips Bruh, of I'm that? I'm trying I to convince Mary. <laughs> I was like, play with me. Like it's gonna be so fun. I've kind of got her. She's like, yeah. I'm, g- I'm gonna right. get a copy next week. It's not that expensive, eh? It's like seventy nine bucks. But yeah. it's like split screen. I used to like when you could just see both your characters. Yeah. On, yeah. So I was kind of turned off by the split screen. The reason I didn't buy it is because I thought I'd have online. Yeah. Imagine like play with your boy like just fucking. Does it not have co op? Like you, know that you can do like two player remote, but like can't do online. No way. Really? Yeah. I thought it was co-op nah, stories. No, nah. that's the selling point, wasn't yeah. it? That's, no, I had a look. There's no online, bro. I searched Fuck. it up. Fuck. Yeah, me like, and Tom were gonna play online. Yeah, no, you were telling me Come. about it. Fuck's sake, bro. How is not every game online now? That's like yeah. the stupidest thing you could have done. 
Yeah, no shit. Imagine a co-op Lego Star Wars. Yeah, Are you kidding how, me? how is everything not cross-platform these days? Most yeah, of it is. It's, yeah, it's now work. changing. Yeah. yeah. Imagine when FIFA and GTA. Like yeah, FIFA's got to be cross-platform. Why hasn't it? Yeah. Is it not? No, it's I not. I don't think so. Fuck, it's not. surely yeah, that's next why I didn't one get will it. be. Imagine Pro Clubs cross-platform, oh, bro. bro. It would be so I good. I did say want to play Pro Clubs so bad. That's why I haven't gotten FIFA because Jack plays on PlayStation. I play on Xbox. Yeah. Why don't you grow up and get a PlayStation Five? Or a I'm PC. Gonna, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> not that you, PC, not because of the money I'm aspect. A PC, but I cannot play on a keyboard. When GTA yeah, 6 comes out, I'll get a still. Yeah, he plays controller. Yeah. Video oh, plays yeah, control. that's true. Yeah. 180 frames. Don't. Then everyone <laughs> complains <laughs> about aim assist and shit. So. Yeah. Cheaters, man. We're cheaters. <laughs> I really we're want we're a PC. Yeah. I really want a PC so bad. They're so good. I really bro. want to stream, but I was, when I was sitting mm. in the house, I was like, Dude, like I could just so just set up and just start streaming right it's, now. It's, it's fun 100%. having a community, mm, like yeah. people that keep coming, mm. like come mates with them. Eh? I watch Pratty a lot during. Oh, I see. Pratty, yeah, he's yeah. good. He's good like that. I was thinking about the other day at work, like, you know, you, you got shows like iCarly, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the formula for streaming and making a living at it was there, but yeah, people only capitalized on it like five years after that. No almost. shit, eh? People saw that and were like, they could had a comment section, everything, watching it live, but now people literally do that. All the time, like look, Nick Merckx, like he's literally one of the most popular streamers. Mm. You know what I mean? The thing was, there was no platform back yeah, then. The yeah, the formula was there though. Yeah. You know? yeah, I think we were a couple years too young for for it. If that yeah. makes we, sense. Were, yeah. we were, we were, we were. Yep. If we were eighteen in like twenty sixteen, yeah, we would have. Yeah, I reckon all of us at this table would be rich as fuck. Right <laughs> <now>. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent, bro. And we weren't fucking having a hundred ping. Yeah, bro, oh, that fuck. internet is terrible in Australia. Go, oh. Try bod, bro. Two hundred ping. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, that like shit, that, dude. Bro. Like satellite yeah. internet Yeah mm. 100% um, Just a Little milestone we hit this week Vinny I forgot to tell you And I thought it'd be good To bring up while you sit here too Because you guys pretty much Founded this podcast With that episode we did a year ago <laughs> um, We hit 10k listens on Anchor Ooh. That's yeah, so On Spotify awesome. and Apple well Music and stuff So Big milestone mm. for us Big Congratulations milestone. guys Let's go Thanks boys For the founding The foundation no, it was a no, great it was. episode too. We were so happy. No, I was we very were, happy with that. We were really happy to actually be a part of it for mm. sure. Because we saw, like I even told you earlier on, I said, just the name of your show, everything you're doing as a solo podcast person, I was like, it's going to take off. Like, yeah. it doesn't know how long it's going to take, but mm. just the idea, yeah, even the name, it was just so captivating. Mm. I we're thought. actually gonna, we're actually planning on rebranding soon. Yeah, mm. I, I thought so. I haven't talked to Vinny about it yet, but I've been thinking. Mm. Over the last two weeks. We'll be talking about it for a while. It just needs to get done. Yeah. Um, yeah. I had a sick merch idea as well. Yeah. Yeah. I really want to do some merch soon. Like we were really talking bad about merch like ideas as well. Like just like ideas. I was saying yeah. you should do this. And you're like, yeah, that's what we're thinking. I had an idea because um, when I did the potty by myself last week, you can Bluetooth your phone to this and ring yeah. people and all the mics, you can talk to them. Oh, that's and so And it good. comes through the recording. Should we ring someone today? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who do you want to ring? I don't know. I really want to though. I really want to try it out because like it's it sounds sick. Like on when yeah. I was editing it, like. Because they called me. Yeah. Oh, real. It was actually sounded really good. Maybe we'll so. do it a bit later then. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so like, I was time. thinking maybe, like, you can get call people and, like, you can do, like, a trivia to them and then, like... Prank the, calls? The winner, like, over, yeah, like, prank calls. Like, the winner at the end gets, like, free merch or something. Yeah, that's mm. so no, cool. That's sick. Or we just put a, a number in a random thing that people will apply, yeah. or enter, and then we'll just pick someone. That was yeah. so fun. Yeah. Do you remember Gotcha <laughs> Calls? On gotcha. 92.9. Yeah, bro. Because gotcha they were so Oh, man, late, driving bro. to school or driving home from school or something, and that would, that would oh, Gotcha Calls yeah. would come on. They'd have like a Karen on the phone just yelling at them. Do you remember when them? Hamish and Andy used to host that shit? I think they so, They used yeah. to be the host of 92.9. I yeah. Think. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. that. Damn. Damn. Oh, look at him. Half an hour, 30 minutes. Why has it been half an hour? Yeah. Jeez. What? Alright, All right, go for it, man. Go for it, Today I had an epiphany. Epiphany. I was on the couch dying. <laughs> I was like, I fucking hate my life. You know, I'm never drinking again. That all that kind of shit you say on a mm-hmm, Sunday. Mm-hmm. And Jay's mum, she come and sat next to me. You know, comforted me, and she talked about star signs. Now I'm not a big fan of star signs. Yeah. I'm fucking, I've never believed in that shit, right? Right. And I've been having like girl problems lately, right? Yep. And then she's massive on star signs. Got Jay onto star signs and all that. Jay? Yeah, Jay's a big on, big on star signs, right? No shit. So she was explaining about like star signs and like who you're compatible with with star signs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, bleep it, but you know. Yeah, yeah. So I was having problems with her last night and then she was like, what star sign is she? Aquarius. No, she's not Aquarius. She's the one after. Oh. But yeah. And then she goes, oh, is she got nice eyes? I said, like, yeah, she's got beautiful eyes. Do you feel like you've been drained by talking to her? I was like, yeah. She's like, that's why you're not compatible. Wow. Yeah. And then um, the other girl I was telling you about earlier, um, she goes, what is she? And I go, she's a cancer. And she goes, 
you're really attracted to her, you can sleep with her, but you'll never have a relationship with her. Yeah, it's really interesting. And I'm like, literally, like, thought about like, I would like want to get with this girl, but I couldn't see myself in a relationship. And I was like, my mind was blown. Hey, yeah, like, my mind was fucking blown. Hey, hundred percent. Now I'm like full looking like. If any of these girls in this bracket now, it's not happening. Mm. <laughs> it's well, I've had, it's I've had a happening, similar, hey. I've had a similar experience. Like, I always, I always hated Gemini's, right? <laughs> because you guys can know that, fucking yeah. why, right? <laughs> um, but even that, but me and me and that said person are like are cool now. Like, we'll yeah, we'll just like if she checks in with me, like I check in with her, like that's it's, great. It's just like a, it's not toxic anymore. Like For it's sure. just, um, but yeah, she's a Gemini, right? Mm. When I've met Geminis in like post her, they've all been shit. But me as a Gemini and we are so compatible. It's crazy. Mm. Yeah, it's crazy. Hey, everyone's yeah. just different, you know. I, that's why that's why I don't really hundred percent believe it. Because some Geminis are not as good as the others, but then you gotta take you meet May and she's like the fucking exactly. different. I believe in that shit, but yeah. I do as well. You, there's there's exceptions and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, like obviously if there was a really good girl and I was like, fuck, like mm. this is like the perfect one, then maybe I'd like yeah. push it aside. But like if she like said that, I'd kind of be a bit wary from the start. Mm. Yeah. You just got to read into it more. Yeah, yeah. I think it's important to be spiritual, like with clairvoyance and stuff. Like, you, if you want to go into it, like you got to take it with a grain of salt. Like, yeah. I've been to one. Um, was these, I think it was two years ago, a year ago, and I'm going to actually see her again on Monday. Um, because she, the stuff she was saying, I was like, "Fuck, there's no way you could know this shit." Like, there's no yeah. way, you know. And um, yeah, you just take it with a grain of salt, obviously. But everything she said within the last two years has happened, and I'm like, "Fuck me, that's actually pretty scary." So. Yeah, is that the one your mum goes to? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm mom. going to yeah, see her again. She's great. I need to go see her. I would yeah. love to go do something like that. I've always I'll said, same, yeah. I'll give you her number, bro. She'll literally like. Is it expensive? Great. Just out of curiosity, or for an hour, it's like a hundred bucks. Yeah, hundred bucks. Really? But you can do like thirty minutes and shit like that. Fuck. But, but you, you reckon it's worth it? Hundred percent. You yeah. want the hour though because it goes so quick. Like when you do a podcast, yeah, it's exactly. The same. It's already thirty-three minutes. Like but like you'll yeah. be fucking writing notes like this. You'll be like, oh, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy, bro. Yeah, I would love to go to something like because I'm very anxious about like where I'm going in the future, like because yeah. I've got no idea. Yeah. So I feel like if I went to someone like that, does she tell you what like what's coming kind yeah, of definitely. thing? Yeah. What's gone? What's happening? What can happen? What so if she's like from? like don't stress, like it's all gonna. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I'd be so fucking calm. Because what what she did like. She says, do you have anything on you that I can hold? So I gave her my ring. I've worn this for like three or four years. Yeah. Gave it to her instantly. She was like, so you're going to blah, 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 doing this. And I'm like, no, like that's fucking crazy. Like there's no way you could have known that. Yeah. And I was like, that's just fucking insane. She's secret on the phone to your mom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she's like, <laughs> we got this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we should do that. Like yeah. go and then like. Give your experience. Write our mind. notes and then share it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd be I'd cool. Be I, I have one. That's really sick. Yeah. Um, yeah. Mum. Well, I must have been 10, 11. And obviously you guys know, v- Vinny, I'm very spiritual. Very, yeah. very mm. spiritual. Um, and so is my mum. My whole family is. Yeah. And my mum went and saw this lady, same same lady. Because yeah. my mum and Harry's mum are best friends. Yeah. Um, and I'm, oh, shit, I must have been 12. I can't really remember. Around that age. Um, and I'm really into this shit. So like mum's arm going up. Oh, fucking make sure you tell me everything. And then like she, I got, she picked me up from school. And then... She just looked a little bit, like, scared. Not scared, but, like... Concerned. Concerned. And I was like, what'd she say? And then she sort of like, oh, like, you're just not doing good at school or something like that. And it was true. And I was like, hmm, okay. And the next day, I was like, okay, like, what didn't you tell me? She goes, oh. <clears throat> she goes, um, she told me you can see spirits, and but you're not afraid, but you want them gone. And it was true. I could see spirits back then. Crazy. And I was... I was scared of them though, so like she got that part wrong. But I did want them gone, so mm, like yeah. we did that whole, whole um, thing in my room, and I haven't really seen much since, which is cool. That's sort wild. Of. I've seen some. Um, I've seen Bo twice, which is cool. Really? That's yeah. what I was saying. Was I was really about cool. to bring so, up Bo actually. So I, <coughs> um, I get my chest and my stomach waxed because that shit's fucked. Yeah. Um, and the lady I get waxed by, she's so spiritual and like she does all of that sort of stuff and. Um, we had like what, the f- second time maybe when I went and got it done, we chatted, had a big chat about Bo and stuff throughout the whole thing. And like, we're like really into it and it's like getting really intense and stuff. And then we ch- were chatting in her kitchen five minutes after about it. And, <clears throat> and I was, didn't want to say anything, but I could, fi- and like, so when Bo was alive, he would always do this thing where he'd put his chin on my neck behind me. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I was talking to her and I could feel that's his his chin on my crazy, on my bro. neck. Holy but but shit. that's not the crazy part. 
So I was talking to her. I didn't want to tell her because like, I still, like, even though I believe in it, I think it was correct. It's all that stuff. I still think, and even though she would have thought it was awesome, I was just like, no, 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 keep it to my, yourself. Keep it to myself. But then she go, and she, she just was talking and then she just stops talking. And she's like, Bo's head is on your chin right now. And I didn't say anything. And I was like, yeah. I know. Fuck, that's crazy, wow, bro. There's bro. no way. Yeah. Shit. I was actually yeah. going to bring him up because it's it was his two years, wasn't it? Like yeah. last week? Yeah. 17. Like, so a week ago today. That's wild. Yeah. yeah. Time flies, eh? Mm-hmm. Like, 100%. I was thinking about, because I saw all the posts that we made and stuff like that, and mm-hmm. I was like having a real moment just yeah, thinking I was, about it. I was. Because I didn't, I didn't think about it until later on when I'd messaged you because it just slipped my mind mm. and I hadn't been on any social media or anything. Well, I tried to keep busy that day too. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Can imagine. So, yeah. so then we were having a chat and I was just like, dude, like time flies. And then I mm. saw all the posts, like I just felt so like, holy shit, like mm. time just fucking flies, flies, bro. Man. So true. But it still feels like yesterday. I know. Yeah. You know what I, I mean? Know. And it, I mean, when I was looking at the p- photos of like us playing indoor soccer, I was like, that just feels like fucking two days ago. Mm. Bro, legit. And to think that he was there with us that one point and then, you know, the next not. Yeah, like it's just it's fucking hard to wrap your head around. It like, is really hard to comprehend he'd, death. He'd probably sure. be in net right now every Wednesday night. Yeah, bro. Facts, bro. That's when, when Wade joined the team. I literally said, you're filling some big shoes. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, bro. I was like, no, no, no pressure, but like the goalkeeper spot to us is very like special. Yeah, mm. 100%. So like... That's why, I, like, I brought him in. I was like, he's so driven. I was oh, he's like, great. he's perfect for it. Yeah. yeah tell me guy. last night loves playing with you guys. Eh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We love he's having really him. He's such a good bloke. Yeah, yeah we love Wade. Yeah. yeah. I was just, yeah. I, you, yeah. Do you ever still feel, like, this might hit home a bit, like, might just heads up, but, like, do you ever just feel like, like, we're just going to get a message from him? Just be like, yeah, yeah like, I, I'm still here. I sometimes here. see something about West Coast. Or yeah, it's so I go weird, to message bro. him still, but sometimes I do message him. But, you know Yeah <coughs> Yeah definitely still feel I think it's so 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 valuable To l- just remember That they're always there Like I yeah. remember When I was like Messaging you I was like He's still here Like mm. Like he's not gone Yeah, yeah He's not gone I think it's important Like even I was talking to To Mary about it The other week um, We were just going for a walk And we were just saying Like I find it hard To comprehend That there's people Out there And it's not Not anyone's fault But like <coughs> they're just not open to the idea of like spirituality like yeah. things that mm. are bigger than them it's almost like it's it scares them so they're like no nah, it doesn't exist if i can't see it if i can't feel it, it doesn't it's not real yeah. but i'm just like if that's all life is like what 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 else is there type yeah, of thing like you got to realize there's more to life than just we can't see shit but yeah. it's there type yeah. of thing you know people are just closed minded they yeah. don't want to they don't want to be open <coughs> to the idea that energy can't be destroyed yeah that's not possible it's only transferred yeah. and mm. that's like literally the basic law of energy yeah and don't get me wrong everyone's allowed to feel whatever they want to feel or believe what they want to believe i just personally think like it's so crazy like we have all these movies all these things that show us like people are thinking about this stuff not just like us there's other people thinking about it you know around the world and it's like it it can't not be real something bigger than us out there whether it be aliens or ghosts or whatever it is like for instance what happened with you and and Bo, i can 100 percent, i fully believe that he was there in that moment for sure you know what i mean like there's just things like that that you're like you can't ignore this stuff but each to their own. If people want to believe, if they can only see it, that it's real, that's totally yeah. fine. That's totally yeah. fine. Yeah. Everyone it's has their opinions. Just don't make fun of other yeah. people. Yeah. Exactly. That's the biggest thing as well, I think. Don't make fun yeah. of people who are like kind of feel a bit that way. But yeah. I used to be kind of like that. Like, like they, it can't be real mm. because like I never had an experience. I never had a, this is like when I was like 14, mm. 15, I've never had an experience where I've lost someone real close to me. Yeah. And it didn't come until my my granny passed. That's yeah. when like everything just started happening. Like I started getting, yeah, I remember. I started getting that. feeling really low, like in myself, and I started being real hard on myself. And then one night, I remember it was maybe like a few months or three or four months after she'd passed, and I was at my dad's house. And I, you guys know, I don't go there very often. I mm. just I used to stay there every couple of weeks, kind of thing. Yeah. And um, when she used to come over, she used to stay in the back bedroom, right? And I remember walking, so I walked down the corridor. And threw it in my room and I didn't look, but I just in my peripheral vision, I just saw someone in the bed. Like just mm. but I wasn't scared. I mm. was like, there's no one here, but it could only ever be one fucking person, yeah. right? Yeah. And I could just imagine her in a Scottish accent, just like, I'm okay, I'm right here, like, <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> and then I, I like I, I like double backed and just looked and I was like, Yeah, okay. And she was and there to tell you. Yeah, she's like, like a yeah, message, yeah, yeah. Like and I, I just saw some symbolism of her lying in the bed like she's at peace kind of mm. thing. Mm. And then ever since that day, I've been so into it. Mm. Yeah. Like I've always, like, 
yeah i've just see, been so see, into the spirituality kind of thing example you you're not gonna you're gonna be, you're gonna shy away from it if you've never really experienced yeah, it and never had a friend like you know you, it, that, and that's fine i understand that yeah um it's been happening to me since a young age and mm, if yeah. none of that happened to me i probably wouldn't believe in any of yeah. it really yeah um <clears throat> but yeah each to their own yeah 100 percent each to their own yeah <clears throat> Mm. It's wild. Yeah, Time it fucking flies, man. It yeah. really does. It's been five years since we've been at school, bro. I know. I know. That's so. That's I can't. Half, that's half a decade. Yeah, I know, bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Saying about like you lost your mate two years ago. Today's um the day my mate died four years ago. Seriously. Oh, wow. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Jeez. Fuck, that's why like that episode really like I, like touched me quite a bit because I wasn't really like close with him. He's a bit older than me. Yeah. But everyone in Boddington, there's not many people there. Like mm. you're, you're all one it's community. Close. You're all yeah. like, you're all friends. Like I used to go to his house for a barbecue with all the other boys, have a drink. Yeah. Mm. And um, yeah, yeah, it was just crazy today because Stone rang me and he was like, I'm having a couple of beers for Jesse because today's yeah. the day he died and <coughs> Stone um, saw him die. So he yeah, it's a bit harder. No, for sure. Like that's I bet crazy. that would have been a trigger for you that episode as well, for sure. That's what I mean, bro. Yeah. Like I used to listen to episodes in and out. Like I was only just getting to podcast then and that episode was like, Wow, like I really like this podcast. Like that's yeah. hit that's just hit at home. Like I know like what you guys kinda went through. Yeah. And like it's not even just me that went through it because I wasn't like as close with him. It still hurt me, but like all my other mates I was close with that were best friends with him. I watched like the whole community just like yeah. go through it. Like my um my boss, his my uh, my old boss, his dad is the doctor in town, the only doctor in town. Mm. He's known that boy that died since he was a, a kid yeah mm. and he had to you know come in like early in the morning and tell the parents that he's known like for 20 years or whatever Fuck it is that, to say man. like you know your son's passed away like yeah so sad you know like it's like it's just it's like one big community and it just hit the whole community like the whole town yeah that's what um something we said on the first when you guys came on it's like when when we when you lose someone everyone becomes one community yeah. everyone yeah. forgets about everything yeah yeah, yeah. and it's just I'm that day. I remember when I found out and I told my mum, she was so like cut from it, like, yeah, because of obviously all of the stuff with Sophie as well, like yeah. during mm. school. So, that community feeling you don't get that very often anymore. No. And no, I remember no. when like literally everyone came together, everyone came together, yeah, that it community. was, it was really especially beautiful. during COVID as well, yeah, yeah, which made it harder. It was incredible, man. It yeah. really was, yeah, it was something special, definitely a spectacle, like at the time, like just to see that someone one person can bring everyone together obviously yeah. it's not the best circumstance by any means not the great circumstances but like if we had beef we'd be like fuck the beef what was it over like life is way yeah, too literally. fucking short like for anything you know yeah, it's like i lost um a friend well i wasn't really that close with her but she died in a car crash this year and i haven't seen people from because she was in my year at school and we, i went to boarding school yeah and like i haven't seen a lot of the people i went to school with since i went like left school mm. and it was like not the right circumstance to come but like going there and seeing everyone again was like it was great to see everyone again eh? 100%. Yeah. we're reunited yeah. our friendship yeah definitely for sure like definitely. obviously not the circumstance i was literally saying this to you when it happened i was like it's not the circumstances we want but like i've never wanted to be with you more in my life same mm. and ever since then it's like we're so close again mm. i think that's happened a lot around that community lot, yeah like I'm still getting messages daily from his mates and yeah, mm, checking sure. up on me and everything like that and mm. just like replying to stories about stuff. Like, yeah, the community is a lot closer now. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. for me, that's what it was like. It was like, I always knew you guys were there, but then when it happened, I was like... It just just distance, yeah, life yeah, distance, and then like we mm. just drifted and it, then... It mm. reminds you that life is came back. like, yeah, 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 no matter what you're going through in life, yeah, keep that you have to make the effort. Going. Even when you're busy as fuck, you know, you have to make that effort with all of your close friends, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. That's what I mean. It's like, I'm a, like, I'm an Aquarius, and like, Same. with an Aquarius, like, it, you really appreciate your friends, so and that's true. like my family. That's like my my. I got more of my family's in Boddington, like an hour and a half away. You know, my friend group. That's like my family. That's like I like die for them. You know, hundred mm. percent. Yeah, there's not many people in this world that I would die for, but everyone in this room, I would. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I that. Yeah, mm. I feel that. Absolutely. But yeah. Should we do a um, star sign reading? We haven't done one in a while. Yeah. Do you want to do it? All right, let's um, let's take a break Definitely. and then we'll um, sounds good. We'll clear that and then we'll get onto it then. Back from our little break, <laughs> we're gonna do a star sign reading since we've been talking about the uh, star signs. All right, here we go. So, this one's the f which one's the first one? Aquarius. Today's reading: Aquarius for Harry and Vinny. You need a mix of, you need to mix things up and create sense of adventure. You are cycling through a period where you need things to simulate you stimulate you and tweak your curiosity sounds a bit bent guys but anyway 
If you're confused about a situation at work, go back over the original details and check the fine print for errors. Direct your energies carefully as you could end up not getting too much at all done. Perhaps you're dreaming a great deal about f- faraway places and how you can finally achieve some of your long-term goals. That's actually, crazy. It's actually pretty yeah, relevant yeah, yeah, right down relevant. for me, yeah. I did go to the court last night, so. <laughs> 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 That's so good. Nah, I, um, has says like, look at your long-term goals. Like, I've honestly, all I can think about them right now is like music. Same. Long-term uh, goals yeah, for me yeah. is just everything All I can think planning. about is like trying to, like, I've got no... Mm, got no motivation at the moment to do anything but i really want to make a mix and i really want to yeah and now i've got a set next week and i haven't even like download any music i'm so far behind and like downloading music yeah mm-hmm. nice is that it that's yes. all it says yeah that's it all right next one's right. for cult yeah yep. cancer. cancer even if you've received a bonus or somehow come across more money you may find yourself playing catch up with the bills no <laughs> it seemed to be it seemed to be an ever revolving door didn't it try to cur- curtail your spending habits and get back to a workable budget this is fucking no, no way dude, we were literally talking that. about we this talking yesterday about yesterday Fuck, you feel grateful you, oh. you feel grateful for your friendships you have at present so at least some social activities counteract some of your professional and financial concerns your gratitude will be reciprocated so your social affairs should see a gr- significant boost now dude we that's were talking fucking about this weird. fucking yesterday nah, Lockie, that's Lockie insane. and i had a fucking hour dnm about this exactly. about we social life balance Social we'll just talk. We'll just text him. Oh. Yeah. That is that's fucking crazy. crazy, bro. Yeah, I had a massive event to lock you about it for like an hour yesterday. Yeah. That's crazy. Wow. That actually bro. is insane. And people say this shit's fake. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> that's fucking next level. We were talking about yesterday. All right. This is for me. For for Capricorn, Capricorn, right? Yeah. yeah. The desire to please others in love, give and receive pleasure makes love making joyful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Affectionate <laughs> feelings arouse your physical attraction intensifies during this period. If your relationship is not a passionate one, you'll still feel energetic and pleasantly stimulated by your other half. On the other hand, if your intuition is strong lately, you know who's on the ro- other end of the line when the phone rings. You will avoid picking it up. It could be you that you want to stay out of harm's way today. That's crazy. Bit of here, there, everywhere. That one. That's here. crazy. Mm. That's crazy. Yeah. What do you take from that? I don't know. I think it's up for I think it's very... Ac- I think me and May are very passionate. Yeah. I can tell you that much. We're very lovey-dovey. Mm. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. No, but sure. it says... That's not, basically, what that says is that something's going to come up. Mm. Is that what you take from it? That's what it's, that's what it's saying. Like, right. if someone rings the phone, maybe don't pick it up kind of Type thing. Type of thing, yeah. Yeah. Baby, mm. no, <laughs> we, do you know, <laughs> baby. We were actually talking about kids, bro, because my sister's obviously pregnant. She's twenty-two weeks now, yep. so she's like way over halfway. That's so insane. So we were just like chat. We always just chat about the future, me and May. Like that's ho- that's uh, really healthy, though. Yeah, I think it's um, really healthy to do that. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah, remember mm. telling me about that. That's wild, dude. Mm. Mm. That's yeah, wild. star signs are good. You got to take it with a grain of salt. It's really interesting just to hear. Like, you know, you're like, is, is it relevant to me? Does it, you know, ring a bell or anything, tickle any feathers? And you're like, ooh. Dude, your one's fucking yeah, wigged me out so hard, bro. me out, bro. I'm, I'm fucking lost. Because our words. conversation yesterday like is exactly like, you want a, you want a more of a balance with social yeah. life and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Mm. Damn, dude, that's fucking crazy. Even, I mentioned at the start of this podcast. How you, you did. Going? Yeah. You did. Yeah. Wow, dude. Crazy. I'm fucking, <laughs> dude, fuck up. Motherfucker's <laughs> 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 looking up like, hey, 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 hey. That's crazy, man. <laughs> No. All right. Um, all right. Should we? Um, do you have anything you want to quickly bring up, or do you want to just get straight into what people have sent us? I'll do some questions. Okay. Do some right. questions. All right. First one's from Coach Jackson. <laughs> yeah, boy. How big is too big for Cole? <laughs> <laughs> in what? In what? He just said, "How big is too big?" And then it says, "For Cole." So answer that question. Cole, how big is too big? <sighs> it depends what he's talking about. Here. About <laughs> nine inches. <laughs> <laughs> um, how is Jacko going? I haven't seen him in a while. Good man. He's he's good. He's um. Doing a lot right now. He's got uni. He's starting a new job this week. Working for that, um, what was that? The, the place that goes to like Coles and Woolies and like secures their money and stuff and drives. What's, what's oh, it? that the, the big the, van the, thing. The van. Yeah, what, yeah. What's the van called? AS something no, or rather. No, I don't know. No, yeah, I know you're talking. But about. he's doing that. Um, <coughs> I, I can't. Actually, no, he's doing something else now. Actually, 
I can't keep up with him. Dude, he, ran, he randomly sent me a Snapchat. I haven't talked to him in maybe like a year. He sent me this. He randomly time. sent me a Snapchat. He goes, dude, I just did this test and I got like 80%. <laughs> it. it was the autism <laughs> test. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's no, a funny he's, bloke. He's going good. I love him and Chelsea. They're, they're, they're great people. Yeah, good with. value. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. All right, we've got another one. I don't know who this guy is. What's your thoughts on that we live on a floating rock in the middle of space and that the laws and like laws we live by, et cetera? Fuck, bro, honestly. That's a deep question. It is a very deep question. I could talk about that for hours. Have you seen like um, how they released that new telescope? The, yeah. The, oh, that, I saw that. Yeah, the new one. There's like a photo of basically our black hole that we're in mm. and like our solar system or our galaxy. This thing's like on the on our phone, like on our phone pictures, like the whole screen, right? You yeah. can't even see ours. Yeah, yeah. no. It's I'm like just like... Billions. Yeah, it's just billions. Fuck to think that, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely something else out there. Yeah, like, can't be. There's nothing. It reminds me of that Rick and Morty episode where like Rick designs a thing where a whole world runs his power supply. Yeah, 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 it's like yeah. a never-ending loop. But within yeah. their power yeah. supply thing, it yeah. runs their worlds. It's so. Sh- oh my god. Rick and Morty's like so they, sick. They they think oh, outside yeah. the yeah. box yeah. on some things, man. I like, love every so episode cool of it. Same. No, those episodes are awesome, bro. Ooh. Seriously, I got a Rick and Morty uh, doormat. Did you? I did, yeah, I do like that. That's cool. I like yeah. that. My first episode ever watching Rick and Morty. Right, um, me and my mates, we took. We took a, a tab and then we were like full tripping and <laughs> it was the Parasite episode. Oh my God. Oh, and they were like, yeah, let's watch a Rick and Morty because we thought it'd be a fun idea. I don't know why everyone thought it was a fun idea. And it was about how like Parasites and they make you think <coughs> you've actually known that person. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just looking around and everyone, I'm like, oh, oh, no. This that is was not. a weird episode. That, like that, that was a very weird episode. Is that the one with all the characters in the one room? Yeah, yeah. And like yeah, Jerry yeah. thinks he's like in love with this guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good crazy episode It is a great episode mm. But to answer the question I mean it is a Fucking crazy idea I mean I don't really I try not to think about it Too much Because it just kind of Makes you feel like your life What, what is your life it's world? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's crazy to think like Out of all the people In the world I met you I met you yeah. Yeah. I met you yeah. I met Maya I met my dad is yeah. my dad Kind of thing It's so it's, weird yeah. yeah, It's crazy how like In love with Maya you are And like you couldn't have met her because of one significant thing, you know what so I mean, true. dude. We were we were actually talking about how we met. It's so weird. Like, right. she me. she went. We went to metros. Yeah, and she just grabbed my hand. She picked me. She's like, I'm grabbing your. Like <laughs> she gra- she came up to me. Like I was dancing. Like I was pretty fucked out. I think. <laughs> And then she just grabbed my hand, bro. Yeah. I've never had that before. And she said she's never done that before either. That's so wild. Mm. And then That's she cool. and then like I was like, oh, like here's my Snapchat, blah blah blah. Mm. And then we just kept talking, talking, talking. Obviously, I ended up dating. What's her face? I'm not talking about her, fucker. <laughs> and then, um, and then our, cr- our past past was crossed again. Like yeah, bro, it's it's actually wild. Like even when Mary and I are talking about, it, like she's been in, like grew up in Singapore, came to Australia, in Melbourne, came back to Singapore, came back to Perth. But like, what? Why Perth? Like you could have literally I gone know. to fucking Adelaide. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I love your it's yours and Mary story. Yeah, it's cute, but like it just makes you think. You're like, how is it that like like your parents decided, nah, we want to stay here. Like it's with any relationship where like, if you've got someone who's lived overseas, come here to Australia, all this stuff, gone back and then back to Australia, you're like, why would you stay in Perth of all places? Like it is really weird, but you can't think about it too much because everyone Well, May is a similar it. situation. May was born in South Australia. Yeah, yeah. Perth she was born there. Then she moved to Geraldton. Yeah. And then okay. moved here. Yeah, yeah that's blood. true. Perth really? is a great I remember place every day you're like, oh, mm. it's crazy. One more day until Maya moves here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So cool. Cute. Yeah, I remember that too. But do you remember, oh, yeah, do you remember when we were like 16? He's like, we're gonna, he's going to date Mary. Do you remember that shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were like, he's going to date Mary. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We were called that for years. I was, I was, for years. Like, for a year, I, for said, I was like, years, you're going to date Maya. Yeah. I said that for years. You're going to date Maya. I, I, Maya was always the one, I yeah. felt. Yeah, can definitely like she's genuinely not in a weird way. She's literally the girl version of you. Yeah, like, yeah to a no, T, yeah. bro. It, Even all the boys, that's what, but that's what you want in a relationship. Yeah, to a T, yeah, exactly. for sure. Yeah, hundred so percent. Anyway, oh, anyway, <laughs> love you, man. Anyway, um, so we have another uh, one more question sent in by Sophie Swarbrick. Oh yeah, uh, big Sophie. Uh, one of our old friends from back in the Dizay. Dizay. Um, opinion on Johnny Depp and Amber Heard situation. Mm. I've been keeping up with that story, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Take over here, Vinny. Because I, um, I like seeing what actors are up to. I love movies. It's like my uh, favorite thing to For do sure. in my spare time. Um, because like, it's a bit, it's a bit messy. Because like, I don't know, like people just like, grab a little bit of information, just put it out what they got. But basically what I've got yeah. is basically she used to beat him. Yeah. And then basically she's trying to say that like, he beat her. Yeah. And now there's like, videos merging of him like drinking and then like smashing shit in front of her like scaring her yeah saying shit like i'll tie her up and fuck a dead corpse and shit. yeah i saw that yesterday he said some fucked up shit and then today i found on tiktok that um 
basically she said in court that she carried a, this makeup, like a circle, like the powder, yep, yep. to cover up the bruises that he gave <coughs> her mm. between the year of 2014 and 2016. And she showed like what the makeup was. And the thing that's fucked her is that that makeup, like especially, didn't come out till 2017. Oh, shit. So now she's getting reamed. Yeah, lying. that is a big plot hole, isn't it? It doesn't work much, does it? No. Was she, um, mm. I was reading something and it was like, um, it's crazy how you can be the richest, most famous person, so the most handsome person on the planet, yet if you get stuck in one toxic relationship, it's literally over for you yeah. Yeah. kind of thing. It's Facts. like it, it just goes to show that behind every strong man is a, is a strong woman kind of thing. 100%, mm. bro. Well, she's like lost her whole career now. Like she got dropped from Aquaman yeah, but yeah, too. But so Both of them have. Johnny's yeah, lost Josh. his shit as well. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. He, yeah, he, got, he got dropped from um, Secret to Dumbledore. Yeah. 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 But I think it's so crazy like... I literally was watching Aquaman on the plane and I was like hearing all this shit like two months after. I was like, no way. Like she's, she seemed pretty cool on the camera. I'm sure she'd yeah, be cool in real life. Cool. I was like, no way. I was like, what the fuck kind of person does this shit, bro? It's so hard when they get in situations like because they're actors. They get paid to not Legit. be themselves. So you just can't, mm, you just don't hard. know if they're yeah. telling the truth, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's, that's why I said to me, I was like, as much as I love Johnny and everyone in the world loves Johnny Depp, He's not innocent as well. No, no, no way. No, no, I'm not saying... He's neither not innocent either. as well. But, like, what I think is, like, what what the court was trying to prove is that domestic violence is not just one way. Yep. So, it's, like, obviously she was more in the wrong. Yep. From what I've seen, anyway. And, obviously, he had a problem and she was capitalising on that mm -hmm. and then trying to turn it all back on him yep. kind of yep. thing. Because every, every guy on this planet has a breaking point. For sure. Yeah, 100%. And you can only take so much mental abuse and control You're until scared, you snap. Bro. And You're then scared. him snapping was him getting drunk and her getting in his face and him smashing shit and blah, blah, blah. That's just the tipping point. No, for sure. I think it's so scary, man, thinking about that. Like, because Mans was like falling asleep, like on his couch, like and shit, mm. like with fucking shit all over him because he's too scared to fall asleep because he doesn't know if he's going to wake up with a fucking two fingers on it, bro. Yeah. You know? It's scary. It's the same as Will Smith, bro. Mm. Yeah. Like oh, that, that smack, bro, guy, that's bro. so much deep. There's yeah, so much so deeper. Much deeper mm. that. that wasn't Will Smith, bro. Mm. Like, even when you watch the clips back and Jada's like rolling her eyes and he's shit, laughing. I'm like. That she wasn't worth. Toxic, she was bro. not worth defending. I would have just sat there. The like, things that she said, bro. Are no, you I kidding know. me? Like, I, I wish I married Tupac kind of thing. I don't get it, bro. Fuck she, that. Man. Their she relationship's open, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I think so now. But like, she came out saying that, that she never wanted to marry Will. Yeah, I saw that. So. What kind of fucking bitch is that, bro? Like, still with disgusting. Will Smith has been nah. like one of my favorite actors my whole life. Yeah. Like, as a kid, like I loved iRobot and all 100%. that stuff. And it's like looking at his whole family, bro. Like they're such a mess, bro. Yeah, I just man. can't believe it. Like just to think that someone of that caliber, but like like you said, a woman behind you like that. Obviously, mm. you don't know what Will has done either. We don't know what. Yeah. It's different. Like, yeah, when obviously. When you're yeah. in an open relationship, that's when the toxicity would start. Yeah, I just don't get why she would come out on like national TV and say she had an affair. No shit. And like, I don't get that. And like, then he became a meme, bruv. The yeah. thing is that sh she probably wanted him to leave her and then she wanted to be the victim. Mm, I think maybe, yeah, that's a really good point. I feel like I've, I haven't experienced that, but I know what, how it kind of feels. Mm. Like it gets to the point where, I mean, I've been on the other side of it as well. Like, I've done the same thing where I don't want to leave the person, but it's like, I I want them to leave me, kind of thing. Yeah, but like, I've been what he sees. Yeah, so it's like, I feel like she kind of became this thing, which was like, I want him to leave me to make it look like it, I wasn't the problem. Mm, but I like he don't People know just what like he sees in her. I've never understood. Like, not even looks wise. That's different. I'm talking more just like after all the shit, even before the slap. I'm like, how the fuck are you still with this? When woman? you have a family with someone, so I know, hard. I, I know. Just that's just easy to. Maybe it is. Maybe it is for sure. But when <clears> you're, I guess that rich and successful. I don't know. Obviously, because we're speaking of middle class people. But like, I feel like when your kids are that old, you can live your life as an individual adult if mm. you don't want to be with. It. Like, you can still be amicable with with a mother. But just, you know, I'm sure... The he's the breadwinner too. So if mm. they get divorced, he's going to lose half his shit. That's, That's true. I think reason another why. reason why, yeah, because he doesn't want to have to have to deal with her in court type of thing. He'd probably have to give up half his net worth easily. Yeah. Crazy, bro. But it's anyway, definitely really sad. It's I very deep. There's, there's a lot of... When it comes to domestic violence, like, obviously I can't speak on this because I've never experienced it. I've never Neither. been part of it. But, Neither. like, it's, 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 it's perceived as it's, it's always one way. And I'm not I'm not trying to be sexist or anything, but I mean, ninety percent of cases are male towards female, yeah, yeah, or something like that. I don't know numbers, but 
I feel like it's very important to realize that it's not just always men. Mm. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, there's always a, a tipping point, even for the most calmest people in the world. Well, in the my eyes, the way I see domestic violence, obviously violence is people say it's the physical act, but it's like if a man is pretty quiet in his shell and he's coming home every day and his wife is verbally abusing the shit out of him, I still classify that as domestic violence because why the fuck would you want to live like that, yeah. have all these mental issues? Like you either you lose your confidence, you've got no like self-esteem, mm. like, and you feel like, well, if my wife is saying this, the person who's supposed to build me up, we're supposed to be a partnership. 100%. Well, obviously, it must be true. She's with me most of the time, you yeah. know, and that's why I'm so blessed to have such an amazing partner who doesn't do that shit. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's so important to find someone... That yeah, can hold you down for sure, and kind of be on the same level as you. Yeah, yeah, mm. couldn't agree more. I think Chris Rock, Chris, yeah, Chris Rock, right? Yeah, I think he handled that situation really well. He, he did, did, yeah. Mm. Take my I feel so bad him. for him, bro. That's yeah. that's so demoralizing. Yeah, but I think yeah. the way he played it off, he couldn't have done it better. Like he literally he turned it into a joke. Yeah, yeah. He was like, "Wow!" When I was I like, "Wish me to smack this shit out of me." <laughs> yeah, no, nah, hats off to him for sure. Yeah. Do you have anything else you want to add on that Johnny Depp stuff? No. Nah. Okay, no, cool. Good. One th- question I thought of when I was sitting in my room contemplating my life. Mm. As you do. What skill do you wish you could wake up with and just be sick at? Like what Easy, skill? I think I know. You go first. Oh, I gotta think. You know, I, I gotta think about it. Maybe two. Obviously, learning how to produce music, it's f- so much fucking shit to learn. So, being a producer would be probably number one. Yep. Number two. You talked about it. Sign language, bruv. Oh, my Fuck God. That yeah. would be so cool. You know how cool it is? Like, fucking... Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Or even another language. Any of those three. Like, yeah. I can speak Spanish, like, type of thing. Or yeah. Me and Lockie don't even know how to do it. We're at the club and we're just like... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and and we kind of know what we mean. It's weird. <laughs> yeah, and 100% sign language, i got to say. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I always want to... I just want to wake up and learn how to play a guitar or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you, Cole? Probably like the skill to adapt to things quickly. If that yeah. makes sense. Okay, yeah. you know I mean? Like less anxiety in a sense. Yeah. Like yeah. Um, even just to adapt to learn the guitar quicker. Yeah. The yeah. Okay. Ability to adapt to learn anything. Yeah. Okay. New skills yeah. That makes sense. Like quicker. Yeah. And understand it better. Yeah. 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 Mm. Mine would definitely be making music as well. Yeah. That shit's so hard. Oh, dude. Like people don't like creatively. Like doing a podcast. Obviously, it's different. Like editing videos because I used to edit YouTube videos. Like. The work that goes into that compared to producing music, oh my god! Like it, yeah. it's like climbing Mount Everest versus going like Jacob's Ladder type of thing. Yeah, I was w- I was it's watching fucked. a YouTube video, like I was like, I was trying to get into it as well. Yeah, and this guy was just like pulling. Sh- I'm like, no, it's not for me. No, nah, like you, like the thing is, it's worth paying for like in like courses because you can pay like hundred bucks or eighty bucks for like a course that mm. gives you the whole ins and outs of your door, like yeah. that you're learning on, and mm. it's worth doing that and then. I definitely um, want to go to Lab Six. Yeah, yeah. Because I know you do like three sessions, and like it's mm-hmm. like three hundred dollars yeah, each yeah. session you go. I was gonna go to Lab Six to learn how to DJ back in the day. You should look up um because you both would use FL Studio, right, for producing. I'll probably try Ableton. Ableton, Ableton's yeah, yeah. better for what he's trying to do. I thought FL Studio. FL would Studio be is better for rap. Beats I, and I use shit. Logic Pro, but like you can literally go online and be like. Um, production course for Ableton and there'll be some on there that are like pretty decently cheap that you can okay. literally do at your own pace go through modules and just learn it like that's probably the best way because it's kind of like you know Bracket yeah like I've got so many people that can teach me yeah, bracket, yeah. Bracket's it's just getting the motivation to do it yeah. 100% because Bracket's like, been good I'm not in my me. own space at the moment like I'm living with my auntie yeah, like I don't yeah. have my own space like, like ever since I've moved in with her I just don't feel like like and I'm comfortable. That's a big with, thing. That's yeah. what I'm it's struggling with thing. right yeah. now. Yeah, like I'm not like not comfortable living there. I love living with my family because that's my second family. That's my godparents. Like yeah. my cousins, like my best friends. You know, like not saying I'm not comfortable. But it's not home. Like I don't pay rent. Like it's, I don't feel like you know. Yeah. I'm, I'm all, like I'm always out. Like I'm doing something. Like when I get into my own space, my own room, the way like I have my own shit because I don't have my own shit in there, like my bed or anything. Like you don't want to be a burden on anyone. Type yeah, of thing. it's just like yeah. I'm just like you know. Once I get my own space, have my own like studio set back up, like. Everything I can just like feel like I can just be motivated to stay there and do what I dude. Can. I couldn't agree more because yeah. like when you produce music, you need you know you need your monitor, you need your laptop, you need your speakers because you got to listen through headphones. Is it good through headphones while you're mixing? Is it good through like speakers? Like you have to know that. And then on top of that, when you don't have a room designated for it, and when you don't have when you don't have a set place, mm. you don't have to keep setting up your shit, moving shit around the house. It's just, I totally know exactly yeah. what you mean, but that's kind of what I'm struggling with right now, having a permanent, like, yeah. production Feeling comfortable setup. in your own workspace. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. What were you going to say, Cole? Oh, just like you'd feel cluttered. 
Like, yeah, yeah. You don't want to be. You don't want to be cluttered. You need to be clear minded for that sort of thing. That's for why anything I, really. That's why I moved out of home in the first place. Like even when I lived in Boynton, I moved out of home from mum because it's their house. Like yeah, it's the way they want it. Like yeah, exactly. You know, like it's just yeah. I'd rather have my own house, like my own room. Like for sure. You know, yeah. It's, Kind of hard to explain, but you guys know. Right? I know exactly yeah, what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly what you're yeah. talking about. That's like what you said. Like you know, you couldn't really afford to move out, but now it's like the best thing you ever did. Yeah, you know, you can see how happy you are for sure. Yeah, it was mm. a great step yeah, in the right direction definitely. for you, I reckon, as well. Yeah, get your own space and stuff. Yeah, it's so nice. Now. Yeah, and you're less having. I don't have to bounce around. You yeah. know, you yeah. guys know how much I had to pack yeah. up over my whole years, room. Bro. Yeah, over every two weeks and move to dad's for a weekend. It's fucking so much mentally clear. Yeah, hundred percent. But I am lazier now. Do you reckon? Oh, 100%. But that's not I even think a bad thing. Out of home too. You know, that's not even a yeah, bad I'm, thing. Yeah, I'm, it is a bad thing. In some ways, but not always. I so. procrastinate a lot, bro. Like, But you learn as time comes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to work anymore. Like, at all, at all. I don't even care if I'm broke forever. <laughs> like, I don't want to work again. But, like, I know that's not realistic. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, it's, yeah. a, it's like I've got to build. I was actually saying to me last night, I need to find my motivation and work ethic again. Yeah, yeah. Because if I can give one piece of advice to anyone that goes to uni and drops out, make sure you go into full-time work straight away. For sure. Because mm. I, went, I just kept side. going casual and I've lost all my, like, everything. Yeah, yeah. No, I Even to mix, bro, I haven't picked up my decks in over a month, two months. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's so bad. Like, yeah. Well, I was listening to Aries. He was doing an interview and the guy asked, like, for anyone with a creative endeavor, in this case, music production, I was like, what's the advice you would give them? And he goes, well, when you're young, you can put all your eggs in one basket. And I highly recommend that's exactly what you do. If you yeah. want to be a producer, if you want to be an artist and you're young and you're still in school, do it. Put all your eggs in the basket. But he goes, when you're older, you have to play the life game. Like you yeah. can't put all your eggs in one basket. But he said, you best bet if you're working full time or working you know, part time, he goes, best believe when you get home. You're not kicking back and winding down. You're fucking grinding. Like yep. you're, you're producing. You're not sitting back watching, you know, like TV shows and stuff. Yeah, absolutely. But he said, if you're studying, it's a bit different because when you find the time, it's like, do it. But he said, other than that, he goes, this, you can still make this shit happen. That's mm. what he says. So. It's crazy because we're all getting older as well. Like you lose we're all 22. Vinny's 23. Yeah. Mm. I was actually, when I was speaking to May last night, like she's just 19 mm. turning 20. Right. Crazy. So hey. Like, think about me when I was 19 or you when you were 19. Like, oh, I know. So but look at how bro. far we've come. Oh, and that was, only, that was only three years absolutely. ago. Absolutely. But I always th think that I'm going backwards, but I'm actually like just not. I'm actually just staying in one spot. I feel like everyone has that, though. I was talking yeah. to Dylan Sakamano about it the other day, and like, we were like just having voice messages and stuff. And I was like, You okay? Like, what's going on and stuff? And he's like, Yeah, just, he's like, just struggling with the motivation sometimes and stuff. And then like other stuff as well. And then I pretty much just said to him, like, look, bro, like some people who look like they've got it all figured out, like, you know, like me mm. studying, working and stuff. Like there's days I fucking, I get out of bed and I'm like, fuck, I really can't even get out of bed today. Like, yeah. obviously I push myself, I can, but everyone has those feelings. And he even mm. said to me, he goes, bro, like, I really appreciate that. It makes me feel like if other people were going through it as well, yep. you know, it, it, mm. it just goes to show everyone can relate. You know what I mean? Yeah, like there's sure. days where I'm like, fuck, this is hard, man. Like, but yeah. you got to do it, you know? Yeah. Just got to bite the bullet and just do shit yeah. these days, bro. Pull like, yourself out of your comfort zone. I find that when yeah. you do that, you're like, fuck, I can actually do anything. You feel invincible. It sucks having to do it at the start, but once you complete it, you're like, fuck, this is this is a cool feeling once you've you done it. That was like me getting my first set. Like, mm. I was so, like, pushing it back. <laughs> like, yeah. you know, I'm not ready to play in front of a crowd. Like, I don't not play, we play on CGAs, like the, the decks in the club, and I'm just like, yeah. kept pushing it back, pushing it back. And when I did it, out of my comfort zone, it was like, it's just all gone. Like, invincible yeah, way. exactly. Yeah, facts. Like when you're up there for an hour, you just feel like the like the happiest you could be. Eh? For yeah. sure, bro. Like it's like nothing else exists. Like it's, it's like going to a music festival. Mm. You know, like going to a music festival. You go there, you're like you, you literally forget about all your problems with your mates. You've yep. got good mm. music. You're seeing people like artists you want to see. You just like forget about everything. For sure, mm. for sure. Mm. And on that topic, where does everyone see themselves in five years? Fuck, dude. You five years. <laughs> Twenty-seven <laughs> years old. If I can see myself with a kid, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, right. I can see you with one too. I um, yeah, maybe. Uncle D. Maybe I I do <laughs> want I do want to have a kid before I'm at least thirty, mm -hmm. and I, that's no pressure on me, obviously. But like, yeah. I'm just saying, in five years, I would like to have a stable income behind me, and like thinking about having a kid, a yeah. family. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Healthy. What about you, Vinny? I reckon traveling, playing music. 
Mm. That's like one of my goals. That's like, awesome. Yeah. yeah. I like I really want to travel. Like I said to my mum's been pushing me to buy a house and I nearly bought an apartment but I got the car instead because I needed a car. Yeah. And I'm glad I didn't get the house now because I'm like told mum on the phone like she's like really accepting of like what I want and like and she's yeah. really good on advice. I'm like I really want to go to like overseas and like go to these music festivals while I'm young because once I get older like yeah doing that kind of shit like you know even like having a baby like it's hard to do music festivals and like even get older like you know you just can't do that stuff it's not as appropriate doing it as a 35 I've got like I probably got like you know four you know like four or five more years until I can probably go music festival and like you know it might sound silly to other people but to me like I want to go over there and you know smoke fucking European weed or like you know take like a European pill or something you know like just (laughs) experience something else and go to like a crazy festival that we don't get here for sure bro and then while I'm there I can go on a train go to Europe like go to all these countries Mm -hmm. like Mm -hmm. I just want to go to America I just want to do that kind of stuff it's hard for us as well because everything's been pushed back a few years because of COVID as well so it's like everything that we wanted to do when we were 18, 19 is now being pushed to when we're 24, 25 yeah definitely that's why I was very blessed to go to Europe when I did because it was right before COVID yeah Yeah. same so I was so blessed like and if there's one advice I could say to anyone young like obviously grind time is important but use your young time to travel like you just have to you learn so Mm. much and you gain so much knowledge as well so yeah Mm. where do you see yourself in five years Harry? Um, five years. So what's it now? You're gonna be so successful, go. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm. If anyone ever that. asks me, it's like, who do you reckon one like one of your mates gonna make? I'm like fucking Harrison Cambarakis, mm. bro. Thanks, I really appreciate that. You're genuinely one of the most driven people I've ever met in my life. Thanks, bro. I really appreciate that. Like genuinely, like words can't express how much that actually means to me. So, mm. but anyway, um, where do you see yourself, mate? Um, what's it? Five. So I finish bachelor January. So. Are you finished shoot? already? Yeah, for my bachelor. Oh, but I got four years post grad. So to do doctors po- and stuff. To do yeah, yeah. four years is PhD. Yeah. Like I want to be obviously be a dentist and stuff. Um, I obviously feel like that can happen for me. I know that can. Like I believe in my smarts and stuff. It's not even about my intellect. It's more about finding the time to work because obviously you know got a house and stuff. Other stuff got a car. Other you know, fucking bills and shit. But five years time, I would say hopefully finish that. Um, definitely finish that if i still take on that route which i would love um i would like to have music that i've put out by that time within five years for sure Mm. um and maybe potentially have another property another house maybe um but yeah other than that it would just be yeah same same order at the minute i would say for sure Mm. what about you and mary in five years oh definitely like engaged Engaged. and stuff definitely married by then within five years i reckon for sure um because we probably want like a two-year engagement and then get married for sure like I, i've always known i wanted to marry her for sure um but it all depends on what we want to do in terms of like uh property if we want to buy another property if we want to stay the one we're at, at the minute you know so yeah. um yeah for mary wise yeah for sure i think that that would be within five years yet yeah, married and, and engaged and whatnot can i just say like yesterday i was talking to jay about that like i just can't wait to get married eh? yeah it's i just a cool can't way. wait to have like the Bucks party and just like yeah. have this big yeah. like not even that big like a hundred people and just like just be the greatest day I reckon for sure I'm gonna keep my wedding so intimate bro like yeah, just I feel that close mates mm. family mm. Mm. Yeah, I just family and close friends for sure yeah no need to have a big wedding I've I never really understood big weddings yeah, you know what yeah. I mean like why would you want people that you met once three you times don't even really like yeah, exactly like just have the people that have got you to that moment for mm. sure you know like I don't understand it but yeah yeah what about you, Carl? Where do you see yourself? I want to be at a point where all three of my businesses are self-sustaining to the point where I can hire people under me mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. focus on all that stuff to the point where I can focus on travel. Hopefully COVID's gone by then. Um, focus on travel, possibly a partner, um, looking to settle down and just focus on stuff I haven't been able to focus on right now because of how hard I'm working and stuff yeah. like that a bit more of a social life and just to be a lot more financially free and less stressed um, mm. and a lot emotionally more clear, Yeah, I guess. Yep, yep. Yeah, a lot of those aspects. I think that's great. Hopefully Collingwood's won a, a flag by then too. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're fucking dreaming there, mate. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to think about five years because it's not a long time. It's not. And now thinking back now, I don't know if I'd have a kid in five years. <laughs> <laughs> but Bro. Like, I'm, like I'm open to it though. But I have so many things that I want to do before that Yeah. at the yeah. same time. And if it happens, so it happens. Yeah, no, nah, yeah. It's like it. At the end of the day, it's all up to mail. 
you really just have to live day by day. Like plan ahead a couple of weeks and months if you need. But I think it's important when you've got a busy schedule, you just have to live it day by day. Remind yourself that you're doing a good job, mm-hmm. you know, because it's so important because it's so easy when you've got long-term goals, you know, it, you tend to lose motivation so easily because you like look at a mountain and be stressed, and like, yeah. fuck, you know. Like it's good to talk about it, but like, like asking this, but like it's also like you don't want to think about every single day, like where am I going to be in five years? I need yeah, to have bro. this done by this time. Yep. For this to happen, like it's short term goals tick off long term goals. Yep, for yeah, for sure. Exactly. And it just overwhelms you and makes you a little bit cluttered. That's something yep. I've learned this year. Like I have goals that I want to do every single year, but like at the same time it's it's gonna stress you out. It's gonna yeah, clutter absolutely. you. So you, you gotta sort of Well that's that's what mm. me and Vinny had like a while like a bit ago when we were struggling with the podcast because we were just thinking about the long term too much. Yeah. And we mm. were just like, Fuck, our numbers are so bad, like we're gonna we're not gonna grow and blah 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 and then Vinny just pretty much told me to shut the fuck up. It I've is been a, a pussy. It is a slow and then, grind with and the then, podcast, yeah. for sure. And then we had that one episode, and now we're just on a slow rise again, which is but nice. That's good, man. Everything that's takes time. Everything. Yeah, ex- absolutely. If you absolutely. enjoy something, it's like, who cares? Like, we've yeah. got, we've got, exactly. loyal, we've got so, loyal viewers, you know. So true. I'd rather, like, have, like, 100 loyal viewers and a 1,000 people that just come in and out. Mm. Yeah, for 100%. sure. 100%. Mm. And when you have fun, you do good at it. And when you do good at it, people viewers will come you know what I mean? yeah, yeah 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 absolutely that's what and i mean i like there's that community yeah so yeah. I mean, like i like this podcast because like you know this episode's like a bit more serious like yeah a bit more teamful chats and we'll have like another episode it's just all silly like yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly laughing the whole time you know sure. yeah it's not just like one one thing you know it's just everything 100 mm-hmm. percent. Mm-hmm. bit off topic are you guys seeing any artists this year no, I'm I don't have any tickets to anything. Like we, have a, we have a big year. Got a big I have year. a massive year. You got Aries, Kid Leroy. I wouldn't mind coming to Aries with yeah. you. Dude, oh, buy a should. ticket, bro. How much are tickets? It's, at, it's at Magnet House. S- 70, bucks. 70 bucks. It's at Magnet House. Oh, dude, I watched <laughs> Night Lavelle there. Dude, I swear. Oh, yeah. No, I'm telling the camera right <laughs> now, I will meet Aries. I don't give a fuck. I'll go backstage and I will meet you this man. Jump that bro, stage, I will bro. jump that fucking stage, yeah. boy. Message him, bro. Is Aries the house DJ? No, 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 no Aries is a rapper. Is an, an artist. Like, he's like an yeah. alternative punk He's rock. like Russ. He's like Russ. No, no, no. He's, he's very m- similar to Russ. No, no, no. He's more like, like a mix of MGK, but like... Yeah, I can see the He's got some punk influence for he's sure. He's got a lot of punk pop influence for sure. But he's just... His sound is so unique. That's you'd, why I You'd like him. him. I'd like him. Yeah, yeah. 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 he's good. Um, yeah, I'm going, to, I'm going to Kid Leroy. Yeah, we're yeah. going to Kid Leroy. We've got Aries. we got Russ. Russ we're going to in Brisbane. Brisbane. We're flying to Brisbane. I'm so excited for that. Oh, yeah. I forgot you did that. And I think that's it. I got Rufus the Soul. As oh, well, I don't have that. I man. saw them at Origin A. Yeah, so they sick. were good. I got so the Wombats sick. as well. We really Game of youths. I got a lot. This Listen out, lineups getting announced oh. on Tuesday. Oh my god! What, what do you What do you guys think of that? Is it Is it going to be a good lineup? Jerry? I reckon it's going to be sick, bro. I would, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Kid Leroy's on it. Well, I, we, I won't yeah. be going. Kid Leroy on. Yeah. Really? I don't know. Like oh, he's coming rum- for that. Yeah, and that's what I thought. But like, there's been rumors about him being on it. What times? When's he coming and tour? Like, like next next month, end of next is month. Is it? Mm. I don't know. I don't. I don't reckon he would be on it, but everyone's saying they reckon because it's like triple J. <coughs> in, like it's not like that's true. In, is it just gonna be like, like locals? No. Local? No. Uh-uh. So no, 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 no. This will be like the first international. Yeah. They <laughs> always have a massive rapper and a massive DJ. Mm. Like you know they flew and then they had fucking schoolboy Q and. Didn't shit. they have Diplo? Yeah, Diplo. Mm. That one I went to and Skr- I saw Skrillex live was that one a was bucket list moment, bro. bro. Amazing, bro. That, that was great. That was <sighs> amazing. Seeing Bangarang live. Oh was, man, oh. just ticked off so many boxes, man. Now nice. you know what was so unfortunate. I think we were sixteen at the time, and Travis Scott came. Yeah, we weren't even available. Other other artists came. It was a huge event. And like, what was it? I think one of my mates, his brothers was like at this fence and he like recorded like Travis Scott. Travis Scott would have been where like the mic light was. Yeah. And he was like, Travis, like Travis. And then like, he just walked past like, look in the camera. I was like, no way. That's fucking crazy. Like, mm. I want to see Travis so bad. Dude, um, it's a bit of a, he yeah, probably no. won't be performing. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> I know. Yeah, he probably won't be performing ever again. It's a bit of a touchy one. Yeah. 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 He's already doing shows. Is he? Is he? Yeah. yeah he just released another song. Day. I do love his music. Wait, like, that song is that the one where it's like uh it's a feature in it. Yeah. Oh man, that song's a hit, bro. Yeah. You know that song Swang by yeah. Ray Shrimmett? He did a like his own version of it. Oh, it man, looks such a it star, looks bro. so it sounds so good. Like it's literally one of my favorite tunes right now. Mm. I'm so back into my rap, man. I know I heard you talking about it, bro. I'm loving it. The new Suicide Boy song? I haven't listened to that yet. Wait, can I just talk to you guys about this real quick? Particularly you two, I don't know how you feel about J. Cole, but you guys don't like I don't like season album how the fuck dude no, there's like no. six good songs no. on that album no. not really a fan of it dude what i haven't i, don't I understand it. i only like 
um, Forest Hills Drive and Prior. I don't like anything Look, more after that. With these albums, I, ch- I choose that. maybe what like three or four good Forest songs Hills on it. That's a good one. Can't remember. I saw that live. I saw him live. Oh, oh it was that um, I saw him For Your too. Eyes Only, wasn't it? Yeah. I think so. Dude, how good was Neighbours? That went off when he did that Neighbours. Off, man. Yeah, he's just, he's just, he's very hit and miss. Like lyrically, he's great, yeah, but I just can't. I he's can't easily the best rapper, I reckon, like in terms of lyrical flow. Not music produced, but I'm talking like, nah, just the way J. Cole talks about shit, I'm like, fuck, that's. So intelligent. He's good right. at telling stories. Same with yeah. Russ. Russ is so good. You even recently came around. To yeah, us. Ru- yeah, Russ is um, he's alright. He's too good lyrically. A as massive well. um, goal of mine to see Drake. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He, uh, that's like the top what? of bucket list. Well, he came in 2014. That was the only time he came, right? Maybe he's but headlining this now, bro. Oh, oh, if he does, oh, oh, no, no, I, I reckon he's due. He's due. Um, Oz right. tour. So he would never come to Perth. He came already to Yeah, not again. Not again. No, I reckon no, he's no, coming. No, how many artists will come? I'll, we didn't, I'll fly over, bro. Bro, we didn't think Aries was going to come here. And then I saw Perth Magnet House on the schedule and I was like, fucking go. Cool. Magnet House <laughs> is a sick venue, bro. It's very intimate. Yeah, because I saw Night Lavelle when it was Capital. <clears throat> yeah. It was it was actually one year yesterday since I went. I'm like, honestly, hoping. it was fucking the sickest fucking thing ever. We're well, going to get front row. Yeah, because yeah, when um, Juice World came. Um, that was at Metro City. Oh, that was amazing. But Aries has, when people have bought a lot of tickets, he's just upgraded the venue straight away. So hopefully he upgrades to there if people buy a lot of tickets. But I can't imagine he'd have a huge listening over here. Yeah. But who knows? I don't think he'd have a massive listening here. No. But I was so happy That's because I was, I was thinking, Cole, that we're going to have to book another flight <laughs> <laughs> over East. <Yeah. laughs> uh, All right. Um, well, it's a really long podcast. So yeah, I 36 probably, minutes now. I think we should probably try and... Um, End it there. Sure. Um, songs of the week from each of you, please. Oh, yes. I've got one. Well. Actually, that's something I want to bring up to you. Swedish House Mafia put out an album. Get fucked. Go and fucking listen to that, that shit. Did that? Yeah. They've got a song with ASAP Rocky called Frankenstein. One of the hardest beat switches I've ever heard, bro. Mm. It's not on the way home. Um, yeah, the whole album is fucking phenomenal, bro. Like from a many. from a pr- production point, like production wise, insane album. <laughs> Um, so my song of the week is Frankenstein by Swedish House Mafia featuring Asa Rocky. Ty Solomon as well, bro. Yep, oh yep, 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 yep. The weekend? <laughs> mm. Nuts, bro. I'm definitely going to have to go with um, Kid Leroy's new song, <sighs> Thousand Miles. So good, I haven't man. even listened to it yet. Oh, neither have you, you don't really like him, though, but like, fuck, bro, that song hits, eh? Hey. I'm so excited to see him. I, yeah, bro, I'm sorry. Did you get Mosh? Yeah, yeah, we yeah, got man. Mosh. Yeah, yeah, fucking nice. Same. Yeah, did you see what he said about what he wrote that song about? No, no. Um, I, shared I saw it. the post. Yeah, he <coughs> basically when he met his girlfriend now, Katrina. Yeah, he basically when he met her, he was trying to make it. He was wasn't that big. Yeah, and he's basically saying like, I couldn't give what I like what she needed in a relationship because yeah. I was trying to work on myself and like become Music. an artist. And then um, yeah, but then ba- and he basically said like, stay a thousand miles away from me. Mm. Wow, well, that's sick. Yeah. I should have known that though. Mm. But um, also, um, I'm gonna go with um Logic's um new song. Tetrids. Yep. Oh, Off that two song EP that he put yeah. out. Yep. Nice. I thought you stopped releasing music. He did, but the fans, he he literally, he's all of it, like, he's changed his whole motive now. He's like, I don't do it for the record label. Like, the record label he went with, they um released him both as a single. Mm. And he literally put out a video saying, like, fuck this record label. Like, yep. you said you're going to do it as, like, a two thing. I, wanna, I just want to drop my fucking album. He's saying, like, I don't do this shit for you. No money. I do this for my fans. That's the only reason he came back. Because mm. he stopped because he said, like, if you listen to his lyrics as well, like, do you listen to Logic? Yeah, like, yeah. I used to be heavily into yeah, Logic. Like, yeah. he, like, his lot, like, his lot, album um, last year, his lyrics, like, he said, are like, I could, like, when I listen to it, it's I like can, a story. Yeah, like, I can feel it, bro. Like, he's saying, yeah. like, fuck the scene. Like, I have, a, I have a kid now. Like, my priorities are this. Facts. And then, like, basically, he only came back because the fans just begged him. Yeah. Yep. And he's like, yeah, I don't do this shit for money. I do this for the fans. Mm. No, that's mm. facts. And that's why I've got so much respect for him. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Harry's song of the week. Um, out of time by Future. It's a great fucking song. Wait, is this album out yet? No, no. This is his um on you know the mask off when he released mask yeah, off. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. He's it's got like an album yellow. coming out, no? Does he? Future, yeah. Yeah, I've been fucking you with these songs so much recently. I think the album is called Future, <coughs> all in capitals. I listen to a little bit of Future now as well. It's called uh, yeah, Out of Time. Remember when we used to froth for Future? Mm. No, nah, I remember um, dude, when we used, used to froth to um, Fetty Wap back in the day. <sighs> and Meat Mill. Oh my god. Still. Did it Future come to? He went to an origin. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Mm. How about your? What about your song, Cole? <sighs> I'm tossing between. Can be any, bro. It doesn't really matter. Tossing between two. Co- Codeine crazy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, yep, I was yep. gonna put a grime song in there because I've been listening heavily uh, into grime right now. Yeah, that's that's my song. Heavily I'm grime. I'm doing Screwface Capital by Dave. It's nice. yep, fucking nice. Is that on Psychodrama? Um, I think it's just a single, bro. Mm. Oh no, it is on Psychodrama. Yeah. Sorry. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skepta and Octavian put out a song. Oh, real? Listen to that. I it's love Skepta. That, that Lunar Eclipse song you told me. Yeah, so Lunar Eclipse by what, Visages or oh, Vastages? Yeah, yeah, yeah so that's you sick. Listen to that. I reckon you'd like that. Then. Yeah. yeah, there's a guy spitting over um, drum and bass. It's real sick. Funny mm. um, I actually yeah. want to put another song, uh, Kill For You by Lil Skies. Oh, Very cool. What banger. A fucking banger, man. Yep. He was at Listen Out, wasn't he? On the smaller stage. Oh, yeah, he, he was, bro. Live. That was great. You know what pisses me off? <laughs> the last <laughs> Listen Out, Slow Tie came, bro. Didn't know who he was. And everyone's like, Slow Tie's coming. Like, so that was two Listen Outs ago, yeah, wasn't two it? Two Listen Outs yeah. ago, yeah. And I was like, I don't even know who the fuck this guy is. Now, like, fuck, I wish I really liked yeah. him back then. Oh, yeah. did you see um, Dear Sunday? Um, Har- uh, what's his name? Fuck, what's the lead singer's name? Ben and Mason, the guitarist yeah, yeah. and the lead singer. They're in LA at the moment and they saw Slow Tie on the street and took That's photos and so shit with him. Cool. Bro, they're having the sickest time, bro. I've been like following them, like just seeing what they're up to. I'm fucking jealous, man. I want to go so bad. Yeah, I never was, ne- I was never into America, bro. Never. And I'm like, now I'm like, fuck, everyone's going. I really want to go, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I want to go too. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, wants, everyone wants to go to, to LA. LA. That's what everyone wants. Yeah, I would, I That's wouldn't, true. I would go only with the boys. Yeah. yeah so like, yeah. no offense, man, if you're listening, but like, 100% would only go with the boys. I've been craving like a nice boys trip, like, just relax it. All the boys relax. If Airbnb, pool. So I'm so excited for us, bro. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm excited. so excited for that. My, um, my dad just got back from Bali, actually. Oh, real? Yeah, he left on Monday, came back Friday. What's it like there right now? He said, um, wait 12 months. Yeah. Go. Oh shit! Really? Yeah. All right, we're at forty-one minutes. And he had to now. and he had to pay one hundred and fifty dollars to get a PCR test. Mm. Fuck that! Huh? Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. Seriously, one hundred and fifty dollars to get a PCR test. Fucked. Nah, fuck that. Anyway, um, before we end off, I want a quick shout out to a guy I met at the Euphoria Day garden party. I don't remember your name, but he said he listens to every week, and he said basically thank you, um, for what we do. Um, he said that it's helped him a lot, and um, just through the. <laughs> he said, "Just Politics. thanks." He just said, "Thanks for doing what we do and just keep it up, keep it up, because it's fucking helping a lot of people, kind of thing." Mm. That's awesome. Congrats so, to you guys. shout out to that Love guy. That. I can't remember your name. I'm so sorry, but you were smashed anyway. So <laughs> I don't even know if you remember. <laughs> yeah. You looked hell cute at that party too. I saw those photos. It was so fun. It was best of, one of the best events. But I left early because I was tired. I couldn't be bothered. I'm so many whipped. girls there, bro. Yeah, great anyway, yeah. anyway, been to an event with so many girls. So, huh? There was. Lot, so I've never been to like a DB event. It's just like mm, yeah. I got to tell you some stories, but anyway. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Um, tonight I got the uh, Metro party, Metro's Frio party with Jam and Dylan and PNC lads, which is going to be fun. Yeah. So yeah, I'm keen. Would love to keen come to, to that. Get out, but we've got work in the morning. Yeah. So. I'm so excited to get out, bro. I've been in the house for two weeks, bro. Yeah, that's fair. I that's said really to the boys, fair. minimum five drinks for me tonight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you're on the floor, man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> they got the bar card, so you're set. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah. Fuck, I'm so keen. But yeah, nah, hundred percent would have come. All right, boys been a pleasure thank you so much for having us we won't us. wait another year to do another episode i promise no, yeah. no for sure um, thank you very much for having us damn we're nearly at 52 so <laughs> maybe you'll get on for episode 50 as well yeah sounds we good got some Ooh. plans so yeah Fun um event. thanks for coming on and thanks for having us thank yeah. you very much for having us boys cheers much love always, always fun love peace peace